With agile handling, eager yet economical engines, generous levels of equipment and sensible pricing, the Suzuki Swift is a great car. It's practical and well-made, but it doesn't feel quite as plush or substantial as a CP Visa. Even so, it's still one of our favorite hatchbacks. It might look chunkier than the old Swift, but the new car is actually more or less the same size so it's at home on tight city streets and in multi-story car parks. But it's just as happy on a country road, with precise steering loads of traction and great handling, thanks in part to its very lightweight design. There are two engine options a 90 PS 1.2 liter dual jet petrol, as seen in the previous Swift, and a 111 PS 1.0 liter booster jet petrol. The 1.2 is revvy and enjoyable, but the booster jet is even better, with the same free revving character plus an added injection of punchy, mid-range torque and excellent fuel economy. Rear head and leg room is surprisingly decent, with room for a pair of adults if the front seat occupants aren't too tall. The 265 liter boot capacity isn't huge, but it's plenty for shopping and the rear seat backs fold down for some extra space although not completely flat. Standard equipment includes air conditioning, Bluetooth, and DAB radio, but we'd go for a mid-spec SCT to gain alloy wheels, better infotainment, a reversing camera and the excellent booster jet engine. But even top-spec SC5 models are well-priced and come with the option of an automatic transmission and even all-wheel drive. The Suzuki Swift is easily one of the best small hatchbacks around. Forgive some slightly cheap looking interior plastics and a slightly small boot and there's really nothing else to pick fault with the driving experience, running costs, price, and equipment levels make it a superb buy.